It's Go Go Midi Girl, and I'm at Fuse Academy with Tully. So, um, what do you do at Fuse Academy? I'm a student at Fuse Academy. I'm learning how to DJ. It's a 10 week course. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, what have you learned while you um, are here learning about being a DJ? Well, actually, I've been here for only four weeks, but funny enough, I've learned almost everything I need to know so far. But I'm still going to come to the events planning and events coordination. Like, yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. We're going to start doing that around the eighth week. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So what is this thing? These are CDJs. Uh, what are CDJs? Yeah. When, we, when the music is played, you enter your CDs here, two CDs, you choose your song here, you, you cue in your first beat here, it's an auto cue, but you can also cue it without using the auto cue. If it's on, you don't have to cue the first beat, because you always need the first beat to mix songs with each other. You can't just mix a song in the middle, and you need to count your beats perfectly, it's five bars or 16 beats. So yeah, so these are my two channels for my volume. If I want to take it this one down, I choose channel two. If I want to take this one down, obviously it's channel one. And yeah, okay. you don't use everything that's here actually. Mm. The, if you don't use everything that's there, then why do they have all of it? For producing. You know, when you want to create your own beats, your own sound, oh. yeah. Because now I'm just a DJ. I already play what's made, what has been made. So, yeah, this is just for production. Do you make your own stuff? Do I make what? Do you, like, um, mix your own tracks and everything? Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I haven't started. Like I said, it's only been a few weeks, like four weeks. So I can't actually make my own music yet. That's why I said, um, after learning how to DJ, I'm probably going to start learning how to become like a producer and just come up with my own music. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, so what skills do you need when you're um, doing the DJ stuff? Nothing, eh? Just love your music. Understand your music and like nothing, nothing hectic. But as long as you're a music lover, you can do it. Any school skills you need, like reading or writing? Mm. Uh, that you're going to need for later on. Like, what? what do you mean? Because like, there are promoters. Like, you need to understand when someone is trying to promote you at a certain event and your money. Because obviously you're going to get paid some other time. But you need to know like, how they calculate everything. Oh, so you know? Math. Contracts, you know? Yeah. Maths and English and... Communication skills, I would say, yeah. So English, <laughs> yeah. yeah you know. Okay, cool. Um, any tips you'd give somebody who wanted to become a DJ one day? Just be yourself and don't let anyone let, like tell you what to do, what kind of music to play, because if that happens to you, you won't get anywhere. You need to know who you are and where you're going. And, you know, as a DJ, like, you know what they say when you're famous, you start going, partying and whatsoever, you want to do everything. No, there should be a limit so people can want you more. Don't be in everyone's face. That's what I'm just going to say. And um, what kind of music do you play when you're um, DJing? I play hip-hop. That's my first love. Like, I play your Tupac, your Notorious B.I.G., like hectic music, I play hip hop, but when I play at clubs, I obviously play like your J. Cools, your Nicki Minaj's, and Kulichanes, you know, Proverb. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that was um, Tully. Tully. Tully? <laughs> and Go Go Media Girl.